Level 1. At this level, we got your basic numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. You should know these numbers, and if you don't, I'll assume you're either a toddler or you have some sort of learning disability. Level 2. At this level, we got numbers like 0 and simple fractions like half. You learn about these in first or second grade, so everyone understands 0 intuitively. But still, it's a very interesting number nonetheless. It's literally the absence of being. And it is also powerful in the sense that it can be used as a placeholder in a decibel number system, as the number 10. So for example, 20 means two tens. Fractions are symbols separated by line that represent a part of a whole. For example, let's take a pizza which has 10 slices. Taking the pizza as a whole, as one, would mean that five slices equals half. Now if we take one slice as a whole and cut that slice into three pieces, each piece would represent a part of that slice, equaling one third. Level 3. At this level, we get indices and negative numbers. And we also get numbers like 666, 69, 420 and 404. So you will know about these numbers if you're above the age of 13 and live in a western country. I guess even if you're a non-westerner, these numbers are quite popular. So you learn about indices and negative numbers around the 4th grade. So indices basically are a simple symbol made to represent the number multiplying by itself. So 4 times 4 is 4 to the power of 2 and 4 times 4 times 4 is 4 to the power of 3. Negative numbers are numbers that are smaller than 0. This is more of an abstract concept, which is hard to visualize in a real world setting, but maybe you can see it as taking two steps back from some point you call 0. 666 is the number of the beast or the devil in Christian theology. At the close of Revelation 13, which discusses the beast or the antichrist and his false prophet, we read, This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. 69 refers to a sexual act that is depicted by the shape of these numbers in Arabic numerals. I hope you see it because I can't describe it too much on YouTube. 420 is the weed number. It refers to smoking around the time 420 p.m. Legend has it that in the 1970s, a group of high school kids found a crop of weed. They'd meet after school at 420 to raid it, and whenever they'd pass each other in the hall, they'd ask, 420, meaning, do you want to meet at 420 to go smoke some weed? And finally, 404 is the HTTP status code, specifically for file not found. A 404 basically means that the thing you're looking for can't be found. It's just an error code that is popular because we see it a lot. It has no intrinsic meaning. For example, a 401 error means that you try to look at something and you don't have access to it. Level 4. At this level, we got square roots, pi, sexy primes, then the number 42. You should know about these numbers if you're a high school student and into sci-fi. So well, the square root of a number x is a value that, when multiplied by itself, equals x. So the square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. Pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. So to get the circumference of a circle, you just times pi by the diameter of the circle. And to get the area, you times pi by radius squared. Interestingly, pi has an infinite amount of decimal places. 60 primes are prime numbers that differ from each other by 6. Prime is a number that is not divisible by any positive number except 1 in itself. 60 primes are prime numbers that differ from each other by 6. For example, the number 5 and 11 are a pair of 60 primes. Because both are prime and have a difference of 6, 11 minus 5 equals 6. The term sexy prime is a pun stemming from the Latin word for 6, which is sex. In the comedy science fiction book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, Earth is depicted as a giant supercomputer, created by another supercomputer, Deep Thought. Deep Thought has been built by its creator to answer the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything, which after eons of calculations was given simply as the number 42. Level 5. At level 5, we got polite numbers and impolite numbers and 46 and 2. Now comes the interesting part. You would know about these numbers if you steeped into Matt's culture and are a big fan of the band Tool or into New Age spirituality. In number theory, a polite number is a positive integer that can be written as a sum of two or more consecutive positive integers. So for example, 15 is a polite number because 4 plus 5 plus 6 equals 15. Any number that is not polite would be impolite. Impolite numbers are exactly the power of 2, and any number that is not the power of 2 is polite. 46 and 2 is a song by American rock band Tool. It refers to an esoteric theory that says the body can reach a state of evolution where it has two more than the normal 46 chromosomes. Level 6. At level 6, we got the number 10 octillion, 314 septillion, 424 sextillion, 798 quintillion, 490 quadrillion, 
five hundred thirty-five trillion, five hundred forty-five billion, one hundred seventy-one million, nine hundred forty-nine thousand, and fifty-six. You will know about this number if you're a big sci-fi reader. So this is an important number from a science fiction novel by Robert A. Heinlein called the Number of the Beast. In the novel, the biblical number of that beast turns out to be not six six six, but six to the sixth power, all raised to the sixth power. It represents the initial number of parallel universes accessible through the Continua device. It is later theorized by the character Jacob that the number may be merely the instantly accessible universes from a given location, and that there's a larger structure that implies an infinite number of universes. Level seven. At this stage, we got three three illegal numbers. And one hundred seventy-seven thousand and thirteen. At this point, you will only know these numbers if you're truly messed up in the head. So let me explain tree first. Tree three comes from Kruskal's tree theorem. So let me explain what that means. Tree n is a function in mathematical logic that defines the length of the longest sequence of rooted trees, such that no tree can be homeomorphically embedded into a later tree in the sequence. So what's a homeomorphic embedding? So, for example, tree T1 can be embedded into tree T2 if you can draw T1 within T2 without any crossings or overlaps of edges. So, tree 1, if there's one tree, would be relatively small and equal to one. A single tree can be drawn without any restrictions. Tree 2 would also be small, with tree 2 being equal to three. You can construct up to three trees without them being homeomorphically embeddable into one another. Now, tree 3, this value is incredibly large, far exceeding any computable number. In fact, it's so large that it can't be expressed in terms of conventional notation, like even exponentials or even power towers. The reason T3 is finite, despite its enormous size, lies in the foundational properties of trees and the rules governing their embeddings. The rules for embedding trees impose restrictions that limit the possible configurations as you create larger trees. Illegal numbers represent information that is not allowed to be processed in a particular jurisdiction. So this isn't referring to numbers five or eight being illegal. It's more along the lines of encryption keys that you can't possess, that may have classified information or proprietary information. Illegal numbers are often tied to hacking, people breaking into systems and extracting data that they're not allowed to have. Now, one hundred seventy-seven thousand and thirteen is a code for an adult Japanese comic called Metamorphosis, created by author Shindo L. So the comic features the young Saki Yoshida, who, in order to make friends, decides to improve her social life. Which, however, result in many redacted things happening to her that cannot be talked about on YouTube. Personally, I find it one of the most realistic, terrifying mangas out there. Its villains aren't world-ending tyrants like Frieza or otherworldly manipulators like Aizen. They are people, pimps, drug dealers, even family.